brilliant great experience great spots of natural beauty and lovely people you use the right words tranquil and peaceful and as if the time stops for you that kind of a place and countryside is beautiful green right so pakistan have got their work cut out here let's see how uh, they go about chasing this one down it's a competitive score something that is within pakistan's reach but obviously in a run chase situation you've got to play your cards extremely efficiently imam ul haq 40 matches and his record is outstanding because look at that average over 50 strike rate is 80 strike rate in the power play we discussed it the other day has got to improve Fakhar getting a, a look in in this ODI series, playing his first game of the year uh, of the series, 47 match for him. And the strike rate is extremely good, 95.23, best of 210 that he cracked against Zimbabwe two years back. Was it at Harare, Tino? It was in Bulawayo. The whole of that series was in Bulawayo. If you remember, it was uh, in the middle of the winter and uh, temperatures were not friendly <laughs> i've never felt so cold in my life blessing muzrabani now zimbabwe need to start a well here got to get into pakistan's top order look for wickets that's the reason why now the second slip fielder being used i like that got a strike get the right places sorted in the field but you've got to get the ball in the right place. Well, that's an exciting start by Imam Ul-Haq. Can't bowl uh, on the pads of any international player. He was in good position, even though he, he was off balance just for a little while. But then it was good piece of timing. It was aerial, but there's no one there to control this flick. Off the mark with a four. Consistency is what Zimbabwe need with the new ball. Don't worry about picking up wickets. It's about just showing a bit of discipline and not to waver from your game plan. And game plan has got to be to get that ball angled across. Two slips in place and get Rashid Riaz raise the finger in your favour. Oh, just so important that start and, and building pressure. Talking about getting the ball in the right area, just a bit of shape into the left hander from Zarabani. He's basically just walked through this delivery. Has Imam Al Haq and it crashes into the off stump. Good delivery from Zarabani, just what the doctor ordered for Zimbabwe. A loose shot and paying the price. What a start by Zimbabwe. Dismissing Imam ul Haq, who's got an ODI average in excess of 50. Four for one, Pakistan.
Barber in early. Average of 54 with a strike rate of 87. Best of 125. Walking through that very uncharacteristic of uh, Imam Al Haq early on in his innings. We've seen uh, already he's got some runs, yes, in the first two games, but he's taking his time early on. Quite defensive, quite circumspect. Rather out of that stroke. Whoa. Point is that you've got to give respect to the new ball. I know that the pressure is on you because you need a lot of runs to get over the line in a way and so you want to be proactive but he could have easily waited it's respect for two three overs and then get cracking little things that you at times forget as an opener you've got to make that strong decision That I'm not going to flinch from my defensive shot if it's a good delivery. Four for one. Four for one, Fakhar Zaman is playing his first ODI of the series and nothing seems to phase him. He remains pretty numb at the uh, overall situation. That's the reason why his strike rate is so good in any situation. Highest run getter in national T20 tournament. There he goes into the gap, beautifully timed through the offside. Imam al -Haq normally so safe and bankable. Got a good delivery and, well, he compounded the matters himself by playing a walking drive. Richard and Garva. Left arm swings the ball. Needs a bit of consistency though. Oh, that's close enough to call. The finger is raised. It wasn't missing the stumps. Fakhar has gone for a review. Red hot right now, Zim. Third apply to director. Review for LBW. Original decision is out. It's a fair delivery. Front on spin vision, please. Ball is close to the bat to confirm ultra edge, please. Just building up ultra edge. Still waiting for ultra edge. Here come. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Flat line, flat line. Roll through to the bat. Yeah, satisfied. No bad involved. Go for ball tracking. Original decision out. Pitching outside off. Impact in line. Wicket umpire's call. Aleem, stay with your original out decision. You are on screen now. Yeah, it looked dramatic. Even though it was an umpire's call in the end, but it looked pretty adjacent to the stumps when that ball wrapped him on the pads the toe was pointing towards the cover it should have been pointing down the pitch is gone for two pakistan being jolted here six for two
Two down for six runs. Heather Ali is facing his first ball. Hits it into the gap. And four, what a start. He's a special talent. And this situation may just spur him on to uh, something substantial. Beautiful shot. Quality. He's walked in after a wicket. Two wickets in the innings, just six runs on the board. And just eases that backward of point. Wider the man at third man for four. This is why he's there. Chill outside the off stump. Carrying on and just clipping the top of leg stump. <sighs> Couple of balls that weren't really needed because you just picked up a batsman leg before and then your next two balls go, go for four. Erratic is the word, I guess. One ball, ball wide outside the off stump, the other on the pads and Heather Ali has been quick to pounce on both lines. Just two matches for Haider Ali. Strike rate, 137. Best of 29, that'll obviously uh, go up as he continues. He just oozes confidence from the look of him, Ramiz. Yeah, fearless. And what's, wants to dictate terms. There's another special drive, he's off. In grand style, three boundaries in no time. Once again, just great balance and beautifully timed shot. 18 for two. Barbarazam is off strike, off the mark as well. If this partnership works for Pakistan, Tino, it'll be an exciting partnership because both are classical batsmen, wants to get on with it. And we know that Hader Ali is off to a great start here, 12 or 4. And Barber has achieved so much in such a little time that is worth the watch. Well, before we even get on to Haider Ali, 12 from 4. Come back to that in a moment. On. I wanted to say, in as much as Zimbabwe wanted early wickets and got an early wicket, the last thing you want is uh, Barber Azam walking in with an average of 55, really. And yes, both quality players. Of course, Haider Ali we've seen a lot more of in the shortest version of the game. Just a couple of matches at uh, one day international level. Not to the class of Babur Azam, unquestionable. Has time to play those shots. I think that's an early indication of how good a batsman is. This will test his temperament. And, and international cricket is all to do with your temperament. Your skills, your talent doesn't work if you don't have the ticker, the heart, the ability to read tough situations. Stems from good temperament. He'll always get the ball to bounce tall. And a much improved bowler, you know, from what I saw of him two years back. Yeah, he had a pack deal for a couple of years. It's 
spent some time with Northens. Unfortunately, when he first got there, he had a bit of uh, a back injury, which kept him out. And started to uh, play a couple of four-day games last year. Which, as you know, will teach you the discipline and the fundamentals that you need for any format of the game. Also played shoulders uh, that he rubbed with while he was over there. That's a comeback. He's uh, one of the spearheads of the attack now, with Kyle Jarvis and Tendai Chitara out. Just two runs from the over, 20 for the loss of two. 